We have a 24-inch Vizio Smart TV on the island in a great room, and actually I was never happy with um, how it would slide around on the countertop and get moved around, and uh, the back and wires were exposed, and they looked quite ugly. So I decided to make a stand for it that hides the wires and also fixes it in place, and that is what this video is about. The first thing that I did was design up and cut out a uh, back mounting plate for it to mount the TV on. Um, I did cut it, wind up cutting it backwards, as you can see by looking at it. So later I had to go back and um, put it back on the machine and modify it and cut it out a little bit more to the left hand side. And the wiring opening uh, wound up a little bit bigger, but good thing that didn't really matter. Next, I drew up and cut out a, uh, a mounting stand for the TV, and um, this had to be hollowed out to allow the wires to run up in it and be hidden when the whole assembly was put in place. All right, these are the two main parts of the um, TV stand. So you can see this is the upright that has uh, pockets milled into it for the wiring, and it also has a piece of spalted maple to match the countertop glued onto the front of it. And then this is the um, back plate to hold the TV up, kind of hide it and make it look a little bit better. Um, and there's just has some pockets for wiring and mounting the TV put in it. First thing I'm going to do is spread a little bit of glue on these guys where they contact each other. And I'm just going to line it up. Okay, end up with the mark, put a clamp on it, and then throw some screws. These are the last two parts of the puzzle. This piece actually has a, um, it's for mounting it. And there's a piece of plastic that I've also made that will go on there and mount this to the bottom of the counter. And there are grooves in here so the wires can be run in. So basically what happens is this gets mounted into there and the wires will come in, make the bend and go up in and out and be hidden completely. I then put two coats of polyurethane on everything and waxed it later. Uh, the next thing I had to do is cut a cover to cover the, um, the wires and the input areas of the TV. I decided to just cut it out of one piece because it was a lot easier to program and then cut it in half and modify it later. Um, I actually just received the spiral bits for cutting and I am amazed at how much smoother a cut and how much cleaner a bottom you get on all your cuts using them. I later cut this piece in half and then I added some uh, little brass wires with springs to hold them in place which you'll see later on in the assembly. Everything is all together and finished now so it's time to go about running the wires and mounting the TV onto the assembly. The first thing that I did was lay the assembly on its back and pull the uh, power and the antenna cable wire up to the hollow section in the vertical part. Then it was just a matter of laying it on the back of the TV and getting the wires in out of the in out of the way and um, adding the four mounting screws that are on a hundred millimeter 
that's a pattern. And next I just had to open up the back covers and take the cable wire and attach that to the right angle connector I had put on the cable side. And then you just turn around the cover and pop it in place and the spring holds are firmly there. It'll be easy to open later also. Um, and open the other side up, put the power connector in, and same thing with the cover. It just flips around and the spring pulls it in, in place and holds it firmly. And the next thing I had to do was add the uh, mounting plate, which actually holds the wires in place too and keeps them buried. Um, there are a bunch of brass screws that I didn't really have room to get a screwdriver in. So I had to use a little right angle driver to get them all tightened up. Then I got everything all centered up and located where I wanted it. And I clamped the uh, stand in place with the TV on it. And I went ahead and I used some of the uh, Craig self drilling tapping screws to actually screw the plastic mounting base up to the bottom of the butcher block top. And here is the finished up stand. It, um, I think it came out pretty good. As you can see, there are no more wires showing. The TV seems to be kind of suspended above the counter. All the uh, inputs are visible to add anything else later to it or to plug in the USB stick to play some music or videos. And um, I think I'm real happy with the way it came out. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. Thank you.